how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here today with me as always. So today we are talking about dry, scaly, disgusting skin, aka my face. So my skin is extremely, extremely dry. I do live in a climate that is not, is very dry, so it doesn't help being here. I went down to Florida for a couple weeks in December and my skin was loving it. It was still dry, but it was soaking that moisture up and I was like, I need to move here. Why do I live in Alberta? I hope you don't get dry skin, baby, because you're very beautiful. <laughs> anyway, um, I am here today to show you how I do my dry skin routine, my foundation routine, with my bestie, Miss Courtney from Courtney's Makeup Corner. I talk about Courtney all the time, even when we're not doing collabs. I still talk about her. She is my babe, she is my boo, she is my everything. I just love her. You have to go check her out if you haven't already. I highly can't see anybody in the world not already knowing her because if you know me, then you know Courtney. That's just kind of how it works, right? Right. But if you are not familiar with her, then after you're done watching this video, scoot your little butt over to hers, subscribe, like, comment, you will not be disappointed. She is very entertaining. Go check Courtney's channel out, go check her video out, see what she's doing for her dry skin. But with no further ado, brace yourself because you're gonna see my naked face and it is not pretty. So just brace yourself, okay? So let's just get on to the video. Ah! It's my bare face! Yes, this is my bare face. Yes, it is red. Thank you very much. So, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna let you guys know what I already have on my face because my skin is so dry and sensitive. Before I put foundation on, it is quite a task to get my skin prepared for that or else it's just a nasty looking mess. So. Here we go. Number one that I have to do, and I know I'm gonna get flack for this because I have eczema, I have very sensitive skin, but the first thing I have to do before I put foundation on is exfoliate. If I don't exfoliate, I get dry, dead skin sticking to every piece of foundation on my face, and it is so gross. Like, just not cute at all, not cute. So I try not to wear makeup every day and I usually don't because I'm always at home just doing my thing because if I do start to wear makeup every day, my skin just looks worse and worse and worse. And this is me not wearing makeup for probably like three or four days so I've had some breathing time and this is me like calming it down. Yeah, so the exfoliator that I use is from Carez, and it is the Wild Rose Brightening and Refinishing Buff Cleanser, and then I have an exfoliating scrubby <laughs> water just came off of it. An exfoliating scrubby from Joe Fresh. These are very inexpensive, and I find that these like slough away those dead skin cells the best without really, really, really irritating my skin like some others can. Um, step number two is always a serum. The serum that I'm using right now is from Avene and it is their hydrating serum. But the, um, before I wasn't using a serum and I didn't really know that I should be, but what happens if you have really dry skin and you're not using a serum, this actually helps your skin on a cellular level. It's not just treating the symptoms. This is actually gonna treat the issue. So if you have dry skin and you're not using a serum, you really need to start and you will be amazed at how quickly it changes your skin. Like I was blown away. So definitely recommend using a serum. They're amazing. Step number three, and this isn't something that I always do, but my skin is really crazy right now, so I decided to just do a little bit, and this is kind of just what I had floating around. This is bio oil. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. You, there are a million different types of oils that you can use on your face. This, like I said, this is just one that I kind of had floating around. And yes, you can use this on your face. I just take a tiny little bit and wherever I'm having the worst dry areas, I will just massage into that. And so for me, it's like right here 
here and then here and then I will do that sometimes at night as well after I do my skin routine just massage it in really really well and then before you go to bed so all that oil sinks in one thing though if you're putting oil on your skin a lot it's actually going to be detrimental because your skin is going to start thinking that you're producing oil so it needs to stop producing oil so I don't suggest using something like this on a daily basis whatsoever um, basically I only use this if my skin is that bad and I need to put foundation on so there's one there are facial oils that you can get that are more safe to use on a daily basis but you really have to do your homework and research those before doing that so then I will usually spray with something today I use the physicians formula primer argan wear if you just want a little bit of hydration you can always use max fix plus um, smashbox primer water that's a really good one as well um, and then I usually use a under eye primer and this is from elf and then my moisturizer that I'm using right now is from taller is from La Roche Posay and this is their taller rain line this is amazing for eczema. I just picked this back up again. This is like my third or fourth bottle of this. And this will definitely calm down all the redness that I've been experiencing. So, and then after that, I usually use Max Strobe Cream. Absolutely love this stuff. This is like holy grail for me. I just... This just gives you a little bit of like glow and loveliness. And then if I'm feeling real dry and I really want to sparkle and shine like queen that I am, I use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. Sometimes I will just mix this in with my foundation. I didn't do that today. I just slathered it all over my face and that's it. And I was good to go. So yeah, that is my huge before foundation routine. I know that takes so freaking long every day it's just a pain okay so um after i did all that i let all that stuff kind of sink in for a couple minutes um i go in with my primer so this is a lee swatchier primer and this is my favorite primer of all time like ever this is my number one if i had to get rid of all my other primers and keep one this would be it for sure so this one is good for correcting and dry it's correcting redness and dry skin so you can see why it's got diamonds in it so I'm like oh hell yes so I already put this on prime uh, prior because I wanted it to sink in um, so that I could go ahead with the rest of the video instead of like putting it on and being like twim diddly fum 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 you know what I'm saying yeah you get it so yes I highly recommend this if you can't get the least watching one. So if you're on a budget and you want to get something from the drugstore, e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. This one is really, really, really good for dry skin. I really like this. It's worked amazing for me. Uh, the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. This one is really, really good as well. Love this guy. And then if you want to go a little bit more high-end, Too Faced Hangover RX. This is right after my Lee Swatchie. Like, this one is, like, in close second. If this had a green, um, like, if this was green and had some sort of, like, redness, primer, correctiveness, I would be all over that. But the Lee Swatchie wins out because it's got the green tint to it. And then the, this is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. This one is amazing as well. So because I do have some little Franklins on my face, I need to cover those up. I'm, I need to uh, cover those up, so I'm using the Cover FX Cream Concealer in Extra Light because I'm a pale ass bitch. This stuff, you need like the smallest amount of product. It's crazy. I have tried using this underneath my eyes and I wouldn't suggest it. It's not horrible, but it's meant I think it's more meant for like acne and covering up blemishes, that kind of thing. It's just too, too heavy underneath my eyes to try and do that. And I have so many other concealers that I love so much better for underneath the eyes, so why even try and make it something that it's not? It works great for covering up blemishes. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but if you got some, you know, some Franklins that are hanging out with you and you want them to go away, this will do the job for you. I am actually going to color correct. Pretty much always color correct. Just for redness. I really want to try the Urban Decay ones, but I don't know. I've heard mixed reviews on them. 
I still really want to try them though, just because I have the e.l.f. ones and I really, really like those for how inexpensive they are. And I didn't think I was going to like them because they're like a, they're the stick forms, but no, they're really, really good. Usually what I like to do is go in with my finger first just to kind of warm the product up. I might have went a little bit overboard here. I used way too much of this, holy. 2,000 years later. Let's hope my foundation covers all this uh, shit up. Okay, so I'm just gonna hope that my foundation covers most of this because it's crazy and it's gonna take me for freaking ever. So a drugstore one is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I really like this foundation, especially for being drugstore. It's really good for dry skin. Um, MAC Studio Face and Body. This is an amazing foundation. It's one of my favorite all-time foundations. This one is, however, it's a sheer to medium coverage. You can build it up, but this one, if you want to cover a whole bunch of stuff, this is not going to be something that you want, but it is a very skin-like, natural, like, this is a gorgeous foundation, and I love it. Um, next one is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. I love this foundation so much. One of my favorite drugstore foundations for sure. It's amazing for dry skin. These two um, cushion foundations, they're both really great for dry skin. This is the Lancome, and then this is the L'Oreal one either or. Um, I like the L'Oreal or I like the Lancome one a little bit better but that's just personal preference. They're both good for dry skin. And then the last one is I have really been liking the Stila Aqua Glow foundation so this one I find is really good as well. I did want it to be a little bit more dewy just because it says like glow on the title so I'm expecting it to be like ah. But it didn't do that, but it is still a good foundation if you have dry skin. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Bourjois Healthy Mix. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. Eternity later. So I'm just putting on a uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind here. Then I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Secret Under Eyes Setting Powder, Secret Brightening Setting Hasa Hasa. Like I can't, like, like just, I cannot live without this stuff. Oh my god, something in my eye. Okay, so I'm going to use my NYX uh, Contour Kit. I just got this. So this is my first time using it, so I figured, why not? Let's just use it. I've never used it before. So let's go with this guy, because I don't really want a crazy highlight. Oh, if you're a makeup artist, yeah, don't blow on your brushes. <laughs> that will piss people off a huge. So if you're wondering, like, when I'm going to set my, like, makeup, uh, no, I don't do that. Not for dry skin, ladies. Oh, shit. Nice natural contour. <laughs> oh, farfanugan. And if you're doing your contour, make sure you're always blending up. If you start to blend down, it's just gonna, it's gonna make your chin or your face look really long. <laughs> yeah, this is more like the contour that I like to do. Natural. Just in case you're wondering, this is the Pure Minerals. This is one of their new brushes, and this is their blurring powder brush and it is freaking amazing okay so to kind of um blend all that stuff in i'm gonna take my stila bronzer in medium with my big real techniques fluffy powder brush just get a little bit on there and blend and blend and blend and blend and blend
Okay, so for blush, I'm just gonna take my Christopher Kane NARS blush in Silent Nude. It looks like this. It's a very pale blush that I just kind of like wearing it when I don't really want like a powerful blush on. I just kind of want to have a tiny little bit of warmth to my cheeks. This is what I use. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm gonna use the highlighter that's in the NYX contour yeah. kit. This one right here with my Sephora number 79 brush. I like that. Okay, and then when I'm done doing that, I always take, this is my Quo bronzing powder brush, I always take it and just kind of go over so everything is all blended in nicely. Ooh, I like that highlight. Yeah, girl. Okay, guys, so that was it. That was my dry skin foundation routine. Um, be sure to go check out Courtney's channel. Show her some love. Tell her I sent you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you in my next video. So may the force be with you. Mwah. Peace.